five really scary villains. Welcome back to Comic Book Punch. Yes, welcome. Well, today we're going to be talking about five villains from comic books, Marvel and DC that we uh, put on our on our list of probably more of the villainous villains. Yes, these guys are super bad. <clears throat> Like super bad, super bad. Like super villains. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> um, <clears throat> sorry if I like. I have water here, so if I drink in water, I've been sick, so I need to yeah. get tons of fluids. So be prepared for next week. I'll probably be sick because I'm sitting in close proximity range of the sickness. Yeah, but as long as I don't like cough or okay, you know, I should be okay. You should be fine. Or as long as you don't kiss me or anything like that, um, you should be fine. Anymore? I will not say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's let's start off. What what's you you have villains? I have villains. We um, have a couple different villains. We kind of agreed on one one particular m- villain. major villain. Yeah, which Probably, is should we say that to the yeah, end? Let's, no, let's just do it now. Oh, okay, they want to tease him. All right, go ahead. The Joker. Yeah, man. I mean, he's 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 just god awful. I think he's he's like the villain of villains for sure. Kind of Complete so. psychopath, like just crazy and hysterically funny at the same time. Beyond scary, like this guy's horrible. This guy's horrible. I well, he's he's ridiculous. He's like you said, scary. It's and then it's, it's just. He's a guy who's all about just theatrics and mm-hmm. what he does. Mm-hmm. Um, just all about chaos. Even like other villains in his universe are petrified of him. Like, oh yeah, they just... don't want to deal. This is like Joker. Yeah. No. no, it wasn't always like that. I mean, I think it was a little something more currently. Just because he's just a cruel guy, even For sure. to like everybody. Mm-hmm. And you've seen in um, the uh, Dark Knight. Yep series and with uh, Heath Ledger's Joker yeah, which was, it was just all about chaos it was up there was <clears> there's up there. a uh, you know other Jokers in the animated series was he was a little more um, you know wants to stop Batman a little bit kind of like gangster yep ish kind and then I think in the new 52 um, that Joker the uh, uh, Scott Snyder okay his Joker was definitely a lot more um, cruel and I think a little more like vengeance yeah. ridden yeah. Um, on Batman. But I mean, from his like Joker gas, yeah, like that's just like insane. It's, it's, like to it's deal nuts. something with like, like that's messed. That's like messed up thing because nuts. it's a nerve gas, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> Which forces you to smile and laugh. Yeah, and. <clears throat> then you are paralyzed or you die Mm -hmm. and like there's some people that like are just affected by it and they're just stuck laughing forever it's for that face stuck with that smiley face the whole time that's that's wicked so that's freaky next next one on the list um i picked kingpin from the marvel universe now this guy's like He's he's horrible, man. He's just a main mob gangster boss, and like he's super huge. Um, I think his first appearance was in an amazing Amazing Spider Man uh, number fifty. I don't know. Fact check it. I don't really know what issue. I was just a guess. Yeah, it was a good one. But um, yeah, man, he's he's crazy. His his main thing is that he likes to go after not only superheroes but their communities. You know, like he affects. Their families. That's what makes him such an awful supervillain. He's definitely like up there. I mean, and he's I, he's definitely portrayed in different ways as like a, a big businessman, as like a gangster, mm-hmm. super and, smart, <clears throat> super powerful, su- super smart, mm-hmm. super strong. Super I mean, strong with, with his size and everything. Yeah, yeah. I read that his first he committed his first murder when he was twelve years old, and then after that he just started uh, taking sumo training. To, to build his strength and power. And he's huge. I mean, if you look at the issues, like, he takes over a whole cover. A whole page. Yeah. 
And I definitely like um, him in the uh, Daredevil. I think that's what Netflix got me. Series. I think that's what I mean. I was thinking about all the Marvel like kind of uh, super villains, and there's there's quite a few. But when I saw the Daredevil, I'm like, man, this guy's super powerful, and the way that they portrayed him, like you kind of almost sympathize of where he's coming from, yeah. but still like just m- crazy, murderous, wrong gangster awful i want him to do more daredevil yes hopefully my first introduction to him though was in the uh the uh, 90s spider-man uh-huh yeah uh, cartoon mm-hmm. so <clears throat> and he was um i forget what i was gonna say but he was he was i yeah, say he's awesome and i like i like him versus spider-man i think yeah. most most yeah, there's mostly some great for me. I, I want I want to see Spider Man go up against Kingpin. That, there's some great battles there. Hopefully they'll do some crossover too. And that would be you. awesome. That would be awesome. It would be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what you got next for your villain? For my my next villain I have is somebody who's I, I guess somewhat like Kingpin. Okay. Lex Luthor. Oh yeah, another good one. Another good one. Another, and, another like casual psychotic businessman that just wants to just And he's definitely evolved over the years in mm-hmm. comic books. Yep. Um and even in the movies. But I like the uh straight businessman Lex Luthor. Um, you know, bald, wants to kind of stop Superman and what he mm-hmm. Not, not quite like for what he stands for and everything, um, but Lex Luthor is over the years he's, he's a genius, right? Um, pretty much never gets caught with with the yeah, crimes that he commits for sure. Um, mm-hmm. And now he's um, he's he's stuck inside his suit, right? That he's built um, to keep him from dying, okay? Because he's had a uh, uh, like kryptonite poisoning okay. cancer like going on so okay. he built a suit to to keep him alive so now in, like the, the, in, in the newer yeah comics, like so in the um, well in action comics right now isn't he kind of trying to take over the role of superman like he's really yeah. trying to promote himself as as a savior to not only you know the city but the whole world he so wants to take over Superman. that was like uh, one of the things because um i never like thought of it like this at all and i think it was um, during their like big like release like announcement of Rebirth, right? Like, that DC did at at the uh, um, Comic Con, mm-hmm. I think it was. Mm-hmm. And they talked about Action Comics and Lex Luthor, and that he's stepping into this role of being Superman, the Superman of Metropolis, right? Right. And like he really wants to protect the city, which I. I myself like really believe like he he truly wants to protect the city. I do too. But the whole thing about this is that he's never wanted like vengeance or to destroy like Superman or anything like that. The whole his whole thing with Superman is because he was jealous. Definitely. Of his power. Definitely a lot of jealousy going on. Um, and still Superman has very hard time trusting his true, you know, where he's really going to take his abilities like Well, there's still that like that 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 evilness of Lex Luthor, that mm-hmm. he's still a selfish guy. And yep. He's going to do what whatever benefits him the most. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But he's definitely, like, he'll crush you. <laughs> he's up there. Mm-hmm. He's wicked. Um, the last one I picked for myself was Red Skull from another Marvel supervillain. Um, I mean, Red Skull was kind of created. He was created, you know, kind of a little bit after what World War II was was finishing up um so he had a big influence on that i mean Mm -hmm. i heard in history that he actually gets his red face from hitler to kind of like symbolize you know exactly what's going on during the world war ii so he's kind of like a symbolic um you know nazi soldier you know he he kind of embodies all those traits and all those ideas so really kind of just truly awful like really 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 bad i think he was literally Marvel's first super villain that's ever been really portrayed. Red Skull. Well, yeah, I think he's yeah. definitely Captain America's, you know, one of the nemesis. First, yeah, one of the first comics, definitely. He's he's wicked. Which I like to see him come back. Yeah. Um what was the series that he was was it Axis that he that he was fought against? I think that was the last series that I remember him I I don't know. 
We'll have to look that. We'll have to look that. Yeah. We'll have to look that up. Mm-hmm. We'll find out. And the last one um, is another, I would say, another Superman villain is Darkseid. Okay. And this guy, recently in the uh, New 52 and the origins of how they came together, they went with the story that the Justice League came together when Darkseid decided to invade and try to take over Earth. Oh, right, right, right. Um, and the whole Justice League, like, fought this guy. And they still didn't even defeat him. Mm-hmm. They just knocked him back to where he came from. <clears throat> so they can't even they can't even get rid of the guy. They just um, pushed him away. Like they him. wounded him, but they it was still a thing that they, they couldn't fully defeat him. Right. And then even at the end of New 52, where he comes back for the Dark Side War, um, they're not even the ones that defeat him. And he's actually reincarnated. Oh, man. <laughs> so, it's just like never ending. So he's he, he is an essential, like, um, what do you, like, a pillar of the DC universe. Like, Darkseid has to exist. And his whole existence is to try to find the anti-life equation. Yeah. You know, the, the pretty much the existence of being. Mm-hmm. So, and he's super powerful. And he's taken over and destroyed worlds. And he doesn't care about anything. Just an awful person. He's just an awful person. <laughs> well, guys, that's all we have for this week. Thanks for like, commenting, and subscribing. There are no cosplayers and fan artists of the week for this week. Okay. But, guys, go ahead to our Instagram and follow us at Comic Book Punch. And please you know hashtag your fan art and your cosplays with cb punch yeah we want to see that we want to show some more we want to get you guys out there yeah because we want to see more of it show us and show us we'll your stuff repost you on our instagram even on our twitter mm-hmm. and we'll even feature you on for the show Ta-da! for the week for the cosplayer and fan artist of the week and uh, let us know who are your favorite supervillains. Who scare the crap out of you? We kind of agree, Joker. We just nightmare about that guy all day, every day. <sighs> yeah, and well, he's just that that <sighs> villain. It's like if he existed, man, people would probably be terrified. Yeah, for there's... their lives that this guy is out there all the time. Kind of like the uh, kind of like out. the crazy clowns that are running around the streets right now. Yeah, there's like a million jokers out on the street. Think about that, America. Think about that. Okay. <laughs> Guys, until next time, check out our side show where we're just going to talk about comic books that we are currently reading. You know how to read? Yeah. Okay. That was my scary. <laughs> <laughs> uh.